right. Hello, wine drinking people. Today is Thursday, the 10th of July. Yes, that's right. Still on vacation down in the Keys. But uh, through the magic of television, we're bringing you this broadcast like I'm just here in this back room with you right now. Anyways, we've got uh, our uh, Penfolds Grange events coming up. And, you know, this is uh, we had a second event this year. Why not? You know, we had it scheduled for the 25th and that is still on at Cafe Max. We do an event there every year but uh, we found out our good friend d lynn will be coming in town a week earlier and uh since he's going to be here we figured man we might as well do a second event why not and uh this is going to be here at the store so we're limited to just 15 people and we're going to showcase the release of the newest grange the 2009 and of course hey you know we got a huge collection of penfolds wines here in the store i've included all of them here on this offering for you we've been doing a tasting with grange for probably close to 20 years now. I've owned the store for 16. And uh, yeah, we've had uh, uh, several winemakers, John Duvall, Peter Gago, and uh, several other personalities and Penfolds here to host this tasting. But d does as good a job as anybody, let me tell you. It's gonna be great to have him in the house here. We're gonna be trying not just the Grange, in addition to the new release, of course, we're going to show an older release of Grange. We get the 1999, so you get to see what happens after 10 years of bottle age. And then, of course, we're going to be showing some other line, wines from Penfolds. The Kalimna Shiraz, one of my favorite Shiraz from them. And uh, hey, we've got the current release. And then the 96 should be uh, fun to see just how well these wines do age. And then the RWT, the Red Wine Trial, we're going to be showing the 09 and the 06 vintage of that wine. That's a Shiraz that, uh, well, spends uh, its aging in French oak as opposed to American oak like Grange does. And then the St. Henri, which uh, to me, one of the greatest Shiraz is made in Australia. And we've got the 02 and the 2010 here, which uh, that wine is, I like to refer to as Grange's alter ego because it's pure unadulterated Shiraz. So the top Shiraz that they can get um, from their growers. And, you know, Penfolds is a unique uh, 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 producer. Well, a lot of people buy grapes. But their iconic wine grange has always been a mixture of purchased grape from all throughout Southeast Australia. Well, that's what's really unique. There's not any other iconic wine that I can think of that has got so many different growers involved. And, um, you know, the highest honor in Australia is to have your grapes as a grower included in grange. It used to be $10,000 a ton. It's probably more than that now. And you get two magnums of grange as a grower. We're going to be showing the 09, which looks like another really good vintage for South Australia. This one got 97 points. The 08 got 100 points. And I'm going to be showing the 99 Grange with this also. And uh, hey, man, you know you're always going to get extra here at a wine wash tasting. So uh, we've got a lot of pen folds in the house. we got d in the house. Probably going to have some other really fun stuff. So check it out. Everything we've got in the store from pen folds. And we'll have d in the house on the 17th of July. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the wine watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.